we have some exciting features for administrators in the October release. Administrators can now use fencing to reserve specific nodes of a clustered environment for use by certain users or certain workloads during normal operations. Let's say that the administrator needs to ensure the system can cache the executive dossier and be available for the CEO of the company for the Monday morning meeting. The administrator can configure a fence to ensure the processing power and ensure high availability for this request. There are two types of fences, user fence and subscription fence. User fence is used to process requests from a list of specified users or user groups like the CEO from our previous example, whereas a subscription fence is used to process requests of all the subscriptions triggered by an event or time-based schedules for specific projects, like the cache for the executive dossier. Administrators can configure fencing under environment configuration in Workstation. You can create new fences and choose the type user fences for reserving nodes for users or subscription fences for processing subscription executions. Type a name for the fence and the applicable server nodes. Specify the projects you wish to have the fences for and the users or groups you wish to create the fence. Similarly, you can create a subscription fence to process all the subscription executions for the specified projects and nodes. Newly created fences are assigned the highest rank, which makes it the least priority. If you wish to have a certain fence with highest priority, move the rank to the lowest. Speaking of subscriptions, we have also introduced file subscriptions into Workstation. You can create file subscriptions in Workstation to deliver content to file servers if you have a delivery device configured for file servers in your environment, or if you have added a file delivery address to your user profile in MicroStrategy, then you can create a subscription and deliver your content effortlessly. One important aspect is that you could also burst subscriptions to multiple folder paths in your file servers dynamically with file bursting. It allows the administrator to easily maintain a single subscription with multiple delivery addresses. You can create file subscriptions under the administration section in Workstation. Add the content you wish to deliver and the users you want to deliver the files to. If you do not wish to send it to a user's delivery address, you can also select subfolder option where you will find the file devices configured by your administrator. Similar to email bursting, file bursting also requires a page by attribute. Once you add the content with PageBy, it enables bursting option, allowing to deliver the files to multiple addresses dynamically. If you need more information, please visit our website at www.microstrategy.com. Thank you.